In this session, I will discuss about quantum dot sensitized solar cells. The solar cells which we are seeing in our surrounding are the conventional solar cells in which silicon is the prime material. However, this is quantum dot sensitized solar cells are the similar solar cells in which quantum dots are used instead of silicon. Now let us see what are quantum dot. These are special class of semiconductors which are nano in size. As the size of quantum dot decreases, energy band gap increases, which will give rise to variable optical properties. The advantage of quantum dot is band gap can be adjusted by varying size of the quantum dot so that it will absorb maximum photon from solar light. Now let us see the properties of quantum dot solar cells. These are having high efficiency compared to conventional solar cells in which silicon is used as primary material. As I already mentioned, the size of quantum dot can be varied, which gives rise to excellent optical and electronic properties. And the main important fact is its low cost. These are relatively cheaper than other type of solar cells. Now let us see the construction of uh, quantum dot solar cells. It contains glass with the fluorinated uh, tin oxide at top as a front contact, followed by nanoporous titanium oxide. Don't get confused. Here uh, SNO2 stands for stannic oxide or tin oxide, whereas this TiO2 stands for titanium oxide. I mean uh, SN stands for tin and Ti stands for titanium. Below this nanoporous titanium oxide layer, a film of quantum dot is placed. Usually nano-sized cadmium sulfide is used as quantum dot. At the bottom, a noble metal like Platinum is placed as back contact. Here, uh, this cell will release electrons through front contact. Hence, this front contact acts as anode and receives the electron at back contact. Hence, this back contact acts as cathode. You can clearly see it here. The electron movement will take place from front contact to back contact anode to cathode now let us see how this solar cell works the working of solar cell can be explained in four steps in the first step the solar cell absorbs the photon from sunlight through the front contact this will excite the quantum dot from ground state to higher energy state we can represent it as QD, this quantum dot. Upon absorption of H nu, that is photon, when the quantum dot absorbs photon, it gives QD star. Here, QD is the quantum dot in ground state, and QD star is the quantum dot in excited state. In the second step, there will be the formation of electron hole pair. That means QD star will form QD with excited electrons and excited hole pair. But the dissociation of this pair occurs if the thermal energy received from the sunlight exceeds the binding energy. Then only the dissociation of these pairs are possible. Then in the third step, the dissociated excited electron will be injected to the conduction band of titanium oxide. This titanium oxide is the semiconductor. So for occurring this process, the excited quantum dot should donate electrons to the titanium oxide. This quantum dot donates its these electrons to the titanium oxide. 
Hence, uh, in this process, the oxidation of quantum dot will take place. So, as we can see here, in the electron hole pair of quantum dot, the electron is donated to the titanium oxide and the hole is remaining with quantum dot. In the final step, whatever electron received by titanium oxide, which is in the excited state, is not stable. Hence, these electrons moves in the external circuit and received by the counter electron. Whatever the electron present in the titanium oxide is not stable. Hence, this electron will move in the external circuit and uh, that electron is received by the counter electron. Here, counter electron is the platinum electron. Hence, what happens is there will be a flow of electrons from anode to cathode, which will produce this electrical energy. Now let us once again summarize the entire process. Initially, whatever light absorbed by the front contact will uh, excite the quantum dot from ground state to excited state. That is QD to QD star. Next, that will create electron hole pair. The thermal energy received from the sunlight enables the dissociation of electron hole pair and uh, the quantum dot will oxidize titanium oxide by transferring its electrons. Here we can see. But this species, that is the titanium oxide, is not stable in the excited state. So the electron moved in the external circuit from anode to cathode, it will produce electrical energy. The same thing you can see in this diagram. When the front contact absorbs the photon from the sunlight, the electron movement will take place from anode to cathode. You can clearly observe in this diagram. Now let us see the applications of quantum dot solar cells. These are used in UPS, also used in some building integrated PV cells, even in space and military applications also, these type of solar cells are used.